What's up? Go, 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 go. Go, come and talk. What, come and tell me what is happening. What happened? I got a lagana. I'm going to my wallet. Don't tease me. Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm just leaving. They carry my wallet. Your wallet. What's your passport? Okay, what happened? That's not with me. Uh, yes, I don't see okay to our community. I have to of fighting people. Look, they start that yellow boy in front of where they put that shit so that it's going. Okay. So now we put your fight out of our community to leave our community where they go, where they go. Okay. Which can't you I'm going to not start for the community. I'm going to do so people, Gary. Like, uh, they fight today, and they start one man for the for you. Yeah. Okay. They start to the man, they shoot the man, because they know it. Yesterday, they call the cop, they call the pursuit there. So now they all come to go fight. They're making the Ashama some more See our Ashama for first today. Okay. Now you're not just where they go. So now you're trying to put Okay, okay, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yeah, so things are getting are getting uh, uh, tensed. Things are getting tense and very very serious. Yes, in that video circulating the internet, a full animal was spotted fleeing with his car after a conflict between them and some groups of Edo State boys. A journalist who posted the video confronted the full animal and asked him what the matter was. The full animal cried as he lamented his ordeal with groups of Edo boys. According to him, the Edo boys allegedly robbed him in his of his wallets well uh, from the video that uh, we saw the boy was uh, the other ones <laughs> the the narrated what really happened it is all about still going to people's farm and eating up their crops if you are not going to be peaceful where you find yourself they will show you the way out just like uh, what happened of course you know the eastern security network those ones are well prepared so they don't even want to take a uh, any chances but individuals you can imagine when the boy was saying that oh they took his wallet but he didn't talk about when they they they, they shot at somebody and did not enter and they stabbed the person how can you just just go to you have that audacity i don't even know what is really wrong with them they have that audacity well your guess uh, your, your guess is you know you can really guess what is really behind uh, uh, their confidence and their boldness the journalist also confronted and interviewed the angry adult boys who were carrying weapons to pursue the full animal. They accused the elders of allegedly attempting to kill one of their men. Yes, that was what uh, one of the boys said. Ever since this video was posted on Facebook, it has been generating a lot of reactions from people. Uh, so I was saying, we move. Adult boys don't get sense now. If now, before waiting, you go, they hear, be say, aye, aye, okay, arrow, okay, beggars, mafians. Don't they kill their selves? Una no use una power on full anis. Okay. You want to help them continue. How do you want to help them now? Una for break that a phone now. Nah. Okay, chase them just that is how they always steal from the poor headers. Okay, that's why uh hmm. now wow. Which camera be that safe? Come, 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 I want to help you. Which help you? One edu beep don't come online, abuse those edu guys that they are caught. It is useless. I do people who not try. <clears throat> the journalist is biased and demonic. I am beginning to reason with the people. Okay. <laughs> Full of the crying over stolen wallet. Take a precedence over the reality. The boy said the Fulanis have been attacking them as usual. Does Fulani man carry wallets? Okay. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't carry wallets. What do they carry? Well, I know you're quite, uh, quite alright in this, uh, whatever. You are one of the people who tell you that uh, the truth is very, very bitter. Every tribe are not happy with what your so called Fulani are doing. They are all over the place. <laughs> that, is, that is the irony part of it. I did we know maybe they are being lied upon. Maybe they just lied against them. Or oh, maybe it's just maybe um, an isolated case. You say, okay, maybe something is really wrong, then you can go and do investigation. But a situation whereby these things happen in every, every community, not only in one place. We're not just hearing that, oh, in social, social state, that is what has been happening. That is what is obtainable there. But when everybody is saying the same thing, just like uh, when the NSAS uh, thing, uh, process, protest, when it came up, you could see that everybody everywhere they are saying everybody was saying the same thing people are saying the same thing everywhere and it is the same pattern when you talk about the answers so that was why you see that the thing cut across the protest cut across across the country apart from the northerners of course you know that those ones they have their even what is even 
heating them up what is even biting them it's even more than what is happening in the south in the south but they keep quiet they feel that it is a normal thing and that's why when this issue of a uh, eviction came up they were like oh what is the big deal about it those who are supposed to say the right thing they are not saying it instead of them to caution their people that oh no don't go to people's farms you can't you can't look for people's trouble and you expect them to fold their hands it's not going to happen but you see that they began to change it and telling you that after all they are facing the same insecurity in their place so why are you not making it a big deal yes you love it you can you can you can condone it you can do it do whatever you want to do about it you can negotiate with them that is your own cup of tea but don't import that or you export that whichever way to other people's land you can't do that they won't take it because they are different people you have been there like I said, something really triggered this misbehavior of this Fulani Esmen. And you hear, oh, they are coming from other countries, they are coming from this, they are coming from that. Because before now, they have been living peacefully. And you will see that majority of them are not even residents of that place. And that is why they are so brutal. Because they don't even know you. But the ones who have been living in the community with the people, it is be it will be difficult for them to do the same, to do such thing. Of course, there were isolated cases and which they really said to them. But this one is just rampant. And somebody will want to justify whatever. The best, best. Me, I've never heard a, that a Edo people, Edo boys, they will go to the north and begin to terrorize people there. Or they will go to Lagos. Or Lagos people will not go to this thing. Or Yoruba people will not go to the north. And you are hearing that they are terrorizing everybody around the whole world. So what, what are we talking about? We have Igbos that are doing businesses all over the place. Their businesses have not, you know, has not been detrimental to the people where they do their business. So why... And people not complaining about oh Igbos are this. The only thing you hear about Igbos is that or you hear people say about Igbos is that oh they buy our land, they they have bought almost everywhere, this and this and that. <laughs> they didn't take it for for you. You are the one that say you want money. And you say you want to sell it, they will sell it to you. And so if you don't want to sell it, mm-hmm, they will stay on their own. But they will give you, you are the one who say you want to sell. So that is the only thing, and which is a good thing. I don't think it's detrimental to, to anybody. But you collect the money, say you want to say. If you say you're not going to sell your uh, land or your property, nobody's going to come to you and and force you to to sell it to them. And that is even developing the areas, developing, making things, and people, everybody is happy. Even you that you are selling your whatever your property or your land, <laughs> you are happy because you are going to use the money for something else. So a situation whereby. These particular people are always all the uh, always in every nook and cranny of this country, and they are threats to people's lives. What do you have to say? You just have to say no. Uh, let us sit down together. He was crying that they collected his uh, wallet. Which wallet did they collect? <laughs> well, the issue is that honestly, I don't uh, think this is right. We are trying to create uh, another monster. Uh, Fulanis never cry. Wait. Uh, you play with Edo, you finish. You are working another Anini a game. Well, so guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and listen to your thoughts on this.